right, I'm gonna go live. Um, I want to say what's up to everybody. Uh, subscribe to the channel. This is Big Rich. Um, I normally do relationships. I had a radio show called Sex and Romance Show. Um, I'm gonna talk about it since it's been in the news. Um, Derek Jacks, you know, his wife speaking. She comes on with the military. I gotta speak in Jerick's half, man. I mean, he went on to save his marriage and say the things he did. But what y'all got to realize, a man going to do what a man going to do. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just, it's in, it's in us. So if him apologizing, it just looks, it looks weird to me. I mean, he spent all them years, you know what I'm saying, giving women good advice, which is the women, you see the women turned on you, uh, Derek. You gave them game. You was giving them game. I don't know how many years. I mean, many women throughout the years told me, send me the, your video. So, I think you should just stand stand your ground, dude, and just stand up and just be a man. And uh, if you if you lose her behind this, I mean, you made all that money being you. You know, you, she wouldn't be living in them big fat houses and enjoying all that money if it just had to do with her, you know? I mean, to be honest with you, it's, it's never right to cheat, but we all know most men, probably 99% of men are going to cheat. So why would you, you know what I'm saying, apologize? Be who you going to be, man. It's in your spirit. You can't use God to, to try to act like, you know, hide behind that. Well, what was in you, what came out, was you fucking other bitches. Simple as that. And the reason why I'm upset is because many women sent me your video telling me this is the, the guy that, that I want to be with and this and that. And come to find out. You wasn't no better than the rest of us. You know what I mean? So, I got to kind of defend you, but I got to kind of like scold you at the same time. Because now you got your wife coming on there. You know what I'm saying? With her little army fatigues on and talking about uh, only God can heal you. Man, let me tell you, it got nothing to do with that, man. It's your nature. Man, you like pussy. Just say it. You know what I mean? And... That's it is what it is, and if you got a woman that's nagging you and 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 constantly bothering you after you didn't gave her the life she would have never had. Don't get it twisted. You know what I mean? When I see these guys that's married to these women, and you know what I mean, ain't sang one song, ain't did no rap song, ain't ain't spoke to nobody, and living a damn good life. Okay, she would have a regular life, making forty, fifty thousand a year, living paycheck to paycheck, and living in an apartment somewhere. That's reality. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm sorry to say that, but come on, man, don't be apologizing, making us all look bad, bro. You like pussy. Simple as that. You like pussy. You know what I mean? You gotta reform for that. When you get a little older, you get older, you may grow out of it. You know what I'm saying? Like I did. I grew out of that shit. That shit don't impress me no more. Trying to fuck this bitch and that bitch and being all that shit out. Man, I give a fuck about that shit. You feel me? Real talk, man. Stay in your ground, man. I mean, God, you, you, you got us looking bad out here, man. For real. You want to apologize for some shit that... And you sound, you sound like you sound fake to me. To be honest with you. I listen to you. You know, oh, well, you know, I made a mistake, you know, I... Uh, you know, God, you have to, man, come on, get the fuck out of here, dude. You wasn't saying that when you was fucking the shit out them bitches. I mean, real talk. We got to keep it real, man. I keep it real, though, man. This is just, this just my opinion. This is my show, man. Just my opinion. Any women I fit it on here, look, man, I'm sorry. But I'm just keeping it real. You know what I mean? I know y'all women don't like to hear that shit. You know what I'm saying? But niggas like new pussy. Okay? I said it. That's the reason why you probably broke up with half the niggas you with. But at some point, you know what I'm saying, you got to realize, you know what I'm saying, look. If you got it good. Now, some of y'all women ain't got it good. Y'all fucking with niggas that 
they ain't even got jobs and broke as a motherfucker and this and that and woo woo. You ain't got it good. So I, I advise you to leave that motherfucker in a heartbeat. Okay? That's real motherfucking talk. You know what I'm saying? But some of y'all who got it good, motherfucking bills is paid. He come home to you every night. He cook for you. Give you massages. You know what I'm saying? Always tentative. Always there with you. And you find out every time he has a little business trip, he be with his little little, little female, little skis or whatever. Man, you need to shut the fuck up. I'm keeping it real, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired of all this fake ass shit. All these niggas getting on here talking all this fake ass shit. Man, fuck that shit. Nigga, if it's in you, do it. Live your life. You got your whole life to live, man. When you get older, then you can start thinking about doing that shit that women be talking about. Oh, let's settle down and all that old shit, man. But while you young, dude, you out there getting these millions, nigga, fuck that shit. Nigga, you can go to motherfucking right now. Nigga, get on a plane and fly to Thailand, nigga, and live your life. And you'll find all the baddest bitches on the planet. Fly to Africa, man. I'm going to tell you, you get anything you want. And they ain't going to cause you no problem. You know why? Because they were trained to, you know what I'm saying, uh, um, maintain a man and not bug a man in them countries. Man, fuck these American women. Man, fuck that shit, man. You got money. Get on a plane, man. Fly out. That's what I do. Get the fuck out of here, man. I'm out. Fly. Because guess what? At the end of the day, all these women talk that shit, right? Them motherfuckers cheating too. Facts. You would never know. Because women take their secrets to the grave. You know what I'm saying? All the time they fly out to Jamaica and they with their little girlfriends, they be meeting little guys and shit. You would never know none of that shit. Because their girls ain't going to tell. You know what I'm saying? It's hella niggas that... It, these women up here. In a good scenario, that I'm going to tell you like this. You seen the movie Friday? Do you remember when Ice Cube, old girl was checking Ice Cube? And she had a nigga in the bed? That gone 90% of the time, bro. Don't trust these women, man. I'm keeping it real. Don't trust these women. These women cheat. They're hypocrites. All of them are hypocrites. You know what I mean? You may find about 1% or 2% of women that's some real ones. You know what I mean? Other than that, Fuck that shit, man. Live your life. Nigga, go make your millions. Do your still kill talk shows. And let motherfuckers know, man. Look. You know, right now, at this point, you don't even need no wife. What you need a wife for? That's holding you down, bro. You know what I mean? You got potential, man, to go to Brazil, nigga. Fly to Paris. You get pussy in Paris, nigga. Who gets pussy in Paris? You go anywhere you want, bro. You got anything you want. Why would you want to have your life right now for the next 10 years? held down by somebody who owned, obviously, from the looks of it, she owns some other shit. I know she was dressed up some kind of way a couple years ago, but now, man, she got army fatigues on. She look like a Black Panther, man. Hey, I'm just telling you, man, I'm keeping it real. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm sorry to, to offend y'all women that, that don't know the real. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just keeping it real. And y'all niggas need to stop out there sipping and, and acting, acting weird, man. You gonna, what the fuck you gonna apologize for? You know what I mean? You probably apologize for you being a man. You know what I mean? Y'all are built different. Women and men are built different. Women, okay, they don't normally cheat unless they're unhappy or unless, you, you know what I'm saying, they've been fucked over or something like that. You know what I mean? Niggas natural cheat. Nigga, that's just what we do. Shit, you, you get us in the mud. Look, you can, have, you can be married. Let a bad bitch walk in. Thick ass bitch walk in. Nigga, you're going to feel hella uncomfortable. You're going to be with your girl. You're going to be looking all weird and shit. You know what I mean? Because you know, your nigga, your cheat, your cheat senses, nigga, inside your body like, damn, I don't want to fuck that bitch. Your wife right here, nigga. Wife right here next to you. You know what I mean? You hella uncomfortable, nigga. That's because it's in you, nigga. It ain't no woman going to be able to change that. Even if you come up with these little weird ass apologies and shit and, and blame God and bring God into it and all that old shit. Even if you do all of that, right? Think about this. You know deep down in your heart, you fake, nigga. You phony. Because let a bad bitch walk in, nigga. You gonna feel uncomfortable in the mother. And when you feel uncomfortable, don't say I didn't tell you so. Because you, it's still in you, bro. It's still in you. You know what I mean? And that's something you can't cure. You can't go to motherfucking psychologists and shit and get that shit cured, nigga. You can't, you know what I mean? What the fuck you gonna cure that? It's in you, nigga. 
It's in your genetic makeup, nigga. You can't cure that shit. You gonna want to fuck a bitch. It's bitches. That's so motherfucking fine. Even your bitch is gonna say, God damn, that bitch is bad. So how the fuck you gonna turn your nigga cheating senses off, nigga? Are you crazy? Man, look. Sometimes in life, man, if your hand is hurting, you gotta cut that motherfucker off. You know what I'm saying? Get you a motherfucking new hand. For real. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to tell you like this. It's in you. And, 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 and you knew it. it was in you your whole life. And I know you told all these good stories to these women and made them feel good and gave them some game about niggas and shit. They should really be thanking you for giving up all that game. Giving up our secrets. You know what I mean? Hey, man. I'm just keeping it real. And and, and, and I know y'all women going to say, oh, who is this nigga? And this and that. And woo woo, whatever. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I got money. I don't, I gives a fuck. You know what I mean? I did it all of my life. I gives a fuck at this point. You know what I mean? I did everything a nigga possibly could do to try to... I did that same shit that Derek did. You know what I mean? Bought them cars. Did everything I've done. But you know what? I had to come to grips with my motherfucking self. You feel me? All that shit wasn't me. That was them. You know, praising them. Putting them on pedestals. And I did it. Nigga came, nigga. Check my record, nigga. You know what I mean? I did everything you can. Guess what? Guess what? No matter what bitch it was, it's all the same. They never, ever satisfied. They got a perfect nigga. Nigga, I got my nigga cheating since down to, down to 90%. I was a good nigga. 90%, nigga. I didn't even cheat, nigga. Check this out. You cheated, nigga. I didn't even cheat. The bitch caught me talking reckless on the phone with the next bitch, which I never, ever, okay, even had these type of conversations with her. She was my ex from a long ass time ago. You feel me? So, one day we were just on the phone, just chopping it up. She had called me. I was at my house. I wasn't even with my girl. Me and my girl were just living together. That bitch left me behind that shit, bro. That told me right there she didn't give a fuck. I was talking reckless. I wasn't even fucking this bitch. So, you can imagine how that made me feel. Because all of the good pussy, nigga, that I turned down behind this bitch. Can you imagine? All the good pussy, nigga. All the good pussy. I'm talking bad bitches. You know what I'm saying? With money. I'm turning these bitches down behind this old raggedy ass bitch I was with. And, and, and those selfish ass bitch. And I didn't, even, I didn't even cheat. Wish I would've. Tell you that. I turned my motherfucking cheat. My cheating senses, nigga. I turned that shit down all the way, 90%. I was a good nigga. I went from being a dirtbag to being pretty much a good ass nigga. You feel me, 90%. I only, only, all, and in the 10%, that was just, you know, conversations, you know what I'm saying, maybe text messages and shit like that. I wasn't even cheating, nigga. You know what I'm saying? But that just tells you right there. You know what I'm saying? Only thing women give a fuck about and the motherfucker, before all y'all women say something about it, nigga, I did everything for that bitch. Everything. Bitch, she didn't even have to motherfucker do shit. She levitated, nigga, everywhere she went. Fuck you talking about. She didn't have to walk, nigga. She levitated. Okay? So, as far as, you know what I'm saying, y'all saying about me, look, women are never satisfied. So, D, do your thing, bro. Don't let have us out here looking stupid, man. Look, own up to your shit and move on. Move the fuck on, man. You feel me? And you know, I know you still love her or whatever, but come on, man, bro. She out here with the army fatigues on, man. Like you Black Panther or some shit, man. Come on, man. Keep it real, man. Don't have us out here looking like simps, man. You feel me? Put your head up, bro.